What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to talk about Chucky Season 3 Part 2's finale in this video here today. So a very interesting interview with Don Mancini, Devin Sawa, and someone representing Dread Central has surfaced online. I would, I would imagine this is very prematurely because the word choice used throughout the interview makes it apparent that this was supposed to be posted after the finale has aired but thanks to this interview it's confirmed two big whammy events that you can expect to occur in the finale that's airing this wednesday now if you don't want to know what these events are you shouldn't be watching it but if you don't care welcome and to me it really doesn't matter because it's going to happen one way or another and those two big events are related to jake and devin mostly lexi's probably going to be involved in this too i'm just not going to tell you because the interview didn't really make it all that clear it did make it very clear that jake and devin are involved in this i also just want to protect at least one aspect of this but again since it surfaced online prematurely let's just discuss it so going off of the footage that you guys have been seeing about jake and the way he's acting in these promos and the trailers that have been coming out for the episodes and the theorizing that i've seen on reddit a lot of you have been hitting the nail on the head. And then, of course, these pictures that surfaced online prematurely that was that were quickly scrubbed as well because I guess someone posted the wrong images. It's just been a mess leading up to this finale, honestly. But Don Mancini has indeed made it clear that Jake is going to be possessed by Chucky during this finale. And at some point during this finale, it's going to cause some friction between Jake and Devin, or at least it could cause friction that builds into season four with them and how it could impact that relationship. And apparently there's some sort of line where Chucky tells Jake, I couldn't have done it without you or something to that effect. If you if you remember at the end of the last episode, Jake is killed with a drug and they also quickly introduce us that there is another drug that will just bring him back to life effectively already erasing any stakes that moment could have had for me so i'm assuming chucky must take over this man's body while he is gone into the spirit realm and chucky will take over jake's body cause havoc and then that'll be resolved by the end of the episode the other thing that was a big whammy from don mancini in his in this interview is that jake and devin going into season four guess what they're going to be dolls now, to some of you who have not been in the know about things online, when I say they're going to be dolls, you might be flabbergasted by that. But no, you heard me correctly. Those two characters are going to be dolls. They're not going to be good guy dolls. You'll see what they're going to be. But they are 100% going to be dolls. So going into season four, two thirds of the trio, maybe all three of them, but we have confirmed now that two thirds of them are going to be dolls going into season four. And I will tell you why that is what I've been talking about when it comes to the fact that I do not like how this tr the trio story is being left with season three i do not like how the shock value writing is just becoming so outlandish with the decision making because what the, the problem here is this the chucky tv show while entertaining and enjoyable they have a very bad habit at taking some big swings undoing it not sticking to things and basically as an attentive viewer you're telling me or at least conditioning me again as someone who's paying attention to what i'm watching i'm being conditioned to never take your big swing seriously case in point i think andy has had two fake outs at this point he had one in season one he had another one this season kyle also had a fake out at the end of season one in which we thought that she died it wasn't legit then you have this moment with jake being the most recent event where instead of keeping that second drug a secret or at least writing it a different way to let us know that a drug exists to bring him back we're told right away before he dies hey this drug kills you this drug brings you back to life so why as an attentive viewer seeing that you undo big swings previously would i now think that jake is going to be dead you're already telling me you're going to bring him back to life so i have no reason to care that this man is dying no reason to care what at all whatsoever you could argue that oh well miss fairchild was a big swing no she wasn't miss fairchild was gone for a whole season mrs fairchild was someone who was very appealing as a character we wanted to see more of her we got that opportunity to see more of her and then she was killed off way too fast thus her kill left no impact didn't mean anything and all it meant something to was the trio who have known her a lot better off screen than we do it just feels like certain aspects of the writing we're not in on the same footing with these characters sometimes while devin is a little emotional about jake dying 
Again, as a viewer, knowing that this is fiction, I have no reason to be invested in it when you're already simultaneously introducing, hey, this drug kills you, this drug brings you back to life. Oh, wow. What are you possibly going to do next episode? You're going to use the drug that brings him back to life. So therefore, you killing him, I don't need to be worried about it at all. Not at all. And then that again ties into this doll thing. You Think about what they did with Jennifer Tilly. We thought she was dead after Cedar Chucky. Then coming into season two, find out Jennifer Tilly is alive, only to have her killed right after. You know, it's just the fact that you could have not done that. If you're going to kill her, you could have just left her dead. We already thought she was dead. It's just the shock value writing, just writing for the sake of shock. And then to step on it, it's like it, it just completely erases any impact that shock had. That's why I again will stress that the doll changing of these characters for at least two thirds, it feels unnecessary and it feels very just shock value esque for the sake of it because I know you're not going to commit to it. It feels like one of those big swings that's just here to bait you to get emotionally invested in the cliffhanger. But why should I, when I've seen you take big, big swings in the past and then you just completely undo them right away at the next season or in the next season? These two characters are not going to stay dolls. So why should I, why should I be concerned that their lives have been turned upside down? Also, I remember I did say that four people's lives would be turned upside down. I said that three of them would be the trio. I can say that two thirds of that trio have been confirmed as being turned into dolls. Uh, the other one who's going to have her life turned upside down is indeed Tiffany. It's just I, I think the writing needs to stop taking some of these swings that it takes for shock value because it's not landing the way that it should. And it's not landing the way that it should because they don't commit to some of their other big swings. They do it for the sake of faking you out, then un undoing what they did just to get you emotional. And as an attentive viewer, you're conditioning me to never take your big swings seriously. So you turning these characters into dolls, that's not anything to take serious. You're just going to turn them right back into boys. So why should I care? Nothing to be concerned about. The stakes are of always being stepped on. Any effort to build stakes, it's being stepped on is what I think is the problem with the writing i think that's the biggest problem with the writing this season you guys let me know what you think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and there's a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video